People have died while swimming in Lake Erie in just the past two weeks. Both were separate incidents of drowning. And as Rachel Monjovi reports, it has people questioning whether the warnings that are posted on the beach are enough. A popular beach along Lake Erie is closed after a second swimmer has drowned in just the last couple of weeks. It happened at Nickel Plate Beach about two and a half hours from Pittsburgh. Crews are continuing their search for 29-year-old Brittany Young. Her heartbroken family says they are not leaving until her body is found. I'm waiting for them to recover my daughter's body. My daughter is, is the sunlight. In everybody's life, she's talented, she's beautiful. I'm so proud of her. Officials say Brittany was swimming this week with her husband when the current pulled her out farther than the buoys. That current took her away. It is unsafe. You know, it took away the love of my life. <laughs> Earlier this month, officials say 18-year-old Alvin Martin died in the same area as he was trying to help a mother and her daughters who were struggling in the water. People say the currents off Nickel Beach are notoriously dangerous. Rip currents rise out of nowhere. I have never seen waves like this. We were walking up towards the beach. And the first thing I thought of was there's no way I'm getting in that water. Officials say this year's elevated lake levels combined with strong winds have created dangerous conditions. There are signs warning visitors that no lifeguards are on duty. But Brittany's family says that's not enough. No one needs to be on this on this beach at all. Rachel Monjovi, KDK News.